What's going on everybody? This video you're about to watch is an excerpt from our front tire roundup test where we put eight all mountain focus tires head to head to see how they compared and which provided the best combination of cornering traction, overall grip, and support. Make sure to head to vitalmtb.com to check out the full review and video to see how each performed and to learn more about the other tires tested. Up next, the Magic Mary has long been Schwalbe's most popular gravity model that performs well in just about any condition. It uses an open tread design with tall, stud-like knobs that dig into topsoil. The center knobs are squared off with minimal ramp and a transition knob is used every fourth row. The shoulder knobs have double sipes, providing a high degree of flex and grip while cornering. Schwalbe offers the Magic Mary in seven casings and five compound options. We tested the Trail or Enduro Focus Super Trail casing that balances weight and durability. It uses three carcass layers under the tread, two on the sidewalls, and a bead-to-bead -bead snakeskin fabric on the top. There is also an apex layer for sidewall protection and a foldable Kevlar bead. We paired the Super Trail casing with the Attic Soft Compound, the second softest compound Schwalbe offers. There is little info out there about how Schwalbe concocts its compounds, but the Attic Soft offers excellent grip with a tad more longevity than their Attic's Ultra Soft. A tire I know all too well from years racing downhill, I was excited to see what Johnny and Tanner would think of the Magic Mary and how the tire would feel under a smaller travel bike. So for the Schwalbe Magic Mary, I've ridden this tire in the past and kind of always liked it. It scored a 7.7, 7, uh, it's pretty high up there for me. I think it was just consistent throughout. It had good traction throughout the tread and I think maybe since I've ridden it a little bit more, I knew, I was familiar with it, kind of knew where the edge of the traction was. And just overall throughout the tread, it was a good feel. Uh, kind of homey, comfortable feel. You knew what it was gonna do. It wasn't gonna kind of like skirt out on you or fold knobs. Then we had the Schwalbe Magic Mary, which I scored a 7.8. Um, I had never ridden this tire before, but heard a lot about it and felt like for cornering, it was really good. Had a lot of traction pretty much at any point of um, any point of the tread that you were leaning on. Sidewall support, it wasn't the most, but wasn't the least either. It was just kind of in the middle. Did surprisingly well for what we were riding also. So I gave the Magic Mary a 7.7, .7, and that is my favorite front tire I've ridden over the years. I also knew from growing up riding where we tested the tires that it's definitely not its strong suit, the like loose over hard pack conditions. And it offered a lot of grip and traction, especially in like the kind of banked corners where you're, or long corners or flat corners where you're really settling into a lean angle. Awesome grip and traction, a lot of control. I started to not like how that tire felt in more of the high energy berm corners where you're putting a lot of force to the front tire. I think those side knobs are just too soft and there's too much siping on them. It started to make the tire feel like it was rolling in those cases. It was really the only tire that I, I had that sensation of starting to kind of push the front wheel. The Super Trail casing also felt a little bit lighter to me. It felt good in the rock garden that we tested on. It had you know good damping, a lot of compliance. It didn't feel like it beat me up. I didn't feel like I was blowing through the tire and running the risk of hitting my rim. But I think in those, you know, hard packed berms, the tire just didn't hold up to, you know, aggressive riding quite as well as the other tires. All right, well, there you have it. Eight front tires tested. It's pretty awesome how many quality tires we have to choose from nowadays. Let us know in the comments which tire you would pick and make sure to head to vitalmtb.com to read our complete review. Cheers.